I started out in, well, seriously, you know, art uh, in high school. You know, I would look at PBS and uh, I would be um, really influenced by a lot of artists and figure out, you know, that's the type of life for me, you know, just, you know, painting and thinking about life and, and giving your interpretation of life and I, I thought that would be the, the ideal job. Like comic books, you know what I mean, and just practice my anatomy from that, you know, while school was going on. I'd just be sketching around with a bit of a problem child and um, I found graffiti and that's when I found color, you know, so I've been painting, you know, painting ever since I was uh, about 16, you know, and um, I've been into art all my life. Usually I try to stay, uh you know, as, as cost effective as I can, you know, in these trying times, you know, you got to be smart, you know, and, um, you know, usually, you know, instead of going to one of your major uh, art supplies, you know, I'm not going to say any names because I might fuck up some future endorsements, but, uh, you know, they charge an arm and a leg for canvas, um, and shit like that. So I usually just go to Home Depot. Um, I usually go to, um, you know, I'll drive up and see a piece of wood or something or, you know, on my way to work or on my way to the studio. And I'll see a piece of wood in the alley and that's perfect because usually, you know, wood is already cut square in the dimensions that I need. And, you know, the picture becomes, I start working on the picture right then and there when I find it in the alley, you know, and it's, it's kind of cool because, um, I mean, I'm not really a Greenpeace type of guy walking around hugging trees, but it it really is uh, kind of cool for the environment as far as going green, you know what I mean, uh, recycling. I take stuff that people usually throw away and try to make art out of it, you know. It's been working pretty good for me. Uh, the name 720. Um... I got that name some years ago, um, dealing with um, a form of Islam um, that the uh, Nation of Islam kind of made famous, I would say. Uh, it's called the 5% Nation of Islam. And at the time, you know, cats had a whole bunch of names and they were renaming themselves. And I thought that 720 would be an appropriate attribute for me because, you know, just as much as you can be on some positive stuff, you have to be on some negative stuff completely. You know, both complete. So, 360 degrees plus 360 degrees is a 720. And you, sometimes you gotta do that with life, you know. You have to be, you know, totally in one thing and get out and, and totally become uh, something else, you know. Totally become, you know, another another entity you know and pull a 720 you know if you caught up in game banging or caught up in in these streets do a 720 you down you ain't got no job you down and out do a 720 you know turn yourself around that's why I decided to, to name myself 720 I could turn myself around and, and pull myself out of a bad situation come out smelling like roses most times most times inspires me inspires me what inspires me? A lot of things that, you know, I use for inspiration. Uh, my family, the struggle, you know what I mean? Black struggle, you know, religion. I'm very inspired by religion. Revolution, beauty, you know. As long as it's real, stay inspired. And I plan to see my work in any place that can dig it. At a nice cafe where, you know, people get together and talk. Not only revolution, but, you know, talk about love. Talk about... You know, I, I would love for a person to propose to his wife or soon to be wife with my painting given the backdrop, you know, or I would love for a person to come and look at his living room wall of a house that he just paid for and it's a it's a seven twenty painting, an original Tony Collins 
hanging in his room, you know, or in the living room. A library where a person is writing that, that crucial paper to uh, either get in or out of college or whatever. You know, my artwork is laying the foundation or making some type of uh, noodles and his brain started working to where it inspired him to, to, to even go that, that extra mile. So wherever people can dig it, wherever I can be of help, I think art is very powerful. Well, so